Hi everyone! In this video, we will be creating a simple Python program that can calculate the statistics of any size data set using the Python statistics library. In school, we learn about statistics of data such as calculating the mean, median, and mode, but have you ever really wondered about the many applications of statistics in the real world? For example, in the medical field, to develop new treatments, you need to analyze very large amounts of patient data that cannot be computed by hand. Also in sports, statistics is used very frequently. In the 2023 NBA draft, statistics of large amounts of player data will be used to determine the teams players end up on. In the real world, data deals with thousands and millions of people, and statistics cannot just be computed by hand or on a calculator. To aid with this, we can use modern day programming techniques to assist us in computing statistics for mass amounts of data. I will be using an online code editor such as CodeHS so the Python libraries will be easy to access. First, to import the statistics library, we will simply type import statistics. This library will allow us to easily analyze data in Python. Now we will create an empty list where the user can add values. List equals and then square brackets. Now let's create a while loop to allow the user to enter as many values as they wish. To start the while loop, we will have while x equals equals the string y, which will stand for yes if the user wants to add another value, and then a colon, print, enter a value, and we can store the input as y. And this will be a floating number. Now we will add this value to the list we created earlier. To do this, we'll do list.append y. And then we'll ask the user to add if they want to enter another value. So print, would you like to enter another value? and x will be the input. But for this while loop to actually run, we will first need to set x to y, so it meets the parameters. So we'll create the variable x and then set it to the string y. So when the user enters the string n, the program will exit the while loop. Now we can start analyzing the data. First, we can sort the list by doing list.sort and then printing it. Let's first find the maximum and minimum of the list. For the maximum, we can do print max equals and then the function max list. And then the same thing for minimum. We can copy and paste it, but then change max to min. Now let's find the average of the list. First, we'll create a variable called average and set that to sum list, which is a built in method of the library of statistics, and then divide that by the length of the list. Since the average is the sum of a list of a data set divided by the length. And then we can print the average. So print For the median, similarly, we can first create a variable called median, 
and set that to statistics dot median list and then we can print it Finally, for the mode, we'll create a variable called mode, which equals statistics dot multi mode, which can find multiple modes if there is multiple modes, and then list, and then we can print it. Our code is now complete. Let's run it. The code will first ask us to enter a value. So we'll start off with one, then ask us to add another value, do yes, y for yes, then just enter a couple values. I think that's good. And then we'll hit end to stop the list. So this is our list of values. The maximum value is 18, the minimum is negative 5, the average is 5.2, the median is 6, and the mode is 6. There is only one mode in this data set. I hope you like this simple program. This program has many use cases like I mentioned earlier. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.